Hello friends, welcome to Concept to Cat. As we have discussed yesterday, we are starting a video tutorial series on generative shape design in Katia B5 from today. As we all know, to work with any CAD software efficiently, you must configure it in your own way. By configuration, I mean the way you position your toolbars, the keyboard shortcuts you use for various commands and the way you use your mouse. So in this first video, we are going to take a look at customization of Katia and some general settings you ought to do in order to use Katia with ease. So at first, we will launch Katia and we will see how its startup screen looks like. So I have already launched it. So when you launch Katia, you will get a startup screen like this. Now this is called as the Katia favorites window. This window contains the workbenches you use oftenly. So like I use part design and gender to shape design, drafting and DMU space analysis workbenches very often. So I have added them to favorites. And each time I fire up Katia, it will show up a window so that I can quickly launch those workbenches. So we will close this for now. And as you can see, when we start Katia, the Katia will always start in a product design workbench. So this can be a question for you your interview when you are appearing for the CAD engineer or Katia engineer or whatever. So whenever you start Katia, it will start in a product workbench. Remember that. So I will close this for now. Now in the left <coughs> corner, we will see the standard toolbars like file, edit, view, insert tools and all. And there is a start button over here. What the start button do is whenever you click start button, you will get the various workbenches available in the Katia as shown below and the favorites are listed on the top as you can see against the generative shape design there is a keyboard shortcut assigned alter plus one and against the part design workbench there is a keyboard shortcut assigned alter plus p you can customize these shortcuts for quickly switching between them using the customize option in the tools so get to that we will go into tools then you will click on customize once you click customize you will get a window like this now here is the start menu option what this do is we saw <coughs> a favorites window over here when we launched Katia right so these are the workbenches we have added to the favorites if you want to add some other workbenches as well you just have to select them like I am selecting automotive class A workbench for my favorites i will just click on this arrow so it gets added over here and once it's added if you want to remove it then click on this arrow back so it will get removed one more thing is uh, i have shown you the keyboard shortcuts against the generative shape design and part design right so to customize these shortcuts you just have to click on them and look over here it's called the accelerator key right so to define accelerator key we will just uh, assign a new key to this one. I will just delete the previous one. Okay. I will just click on Alt and use plus sign from keyboard and with whatever shortcut you want, like Alt plus P <coughs> or Alt plus S, I will use for surfacing. And I will just close it. So if you click on Start again, you will see that generative shape design accelerator key is updated to Alt plus S. So this is the use of it because while using katia while doing surfacing as we'll see in later videos we have to constantly switch between the part design and generative shape design workbenches these shortcuts come in handy at that time so now we will see further more options tools customize okay this was about the start menu user workbenches option i will explain it in later videos and just now get to toolbars okay so toolbars we all know that every CAD software has various toolbars like uh, sketching toolbar, uh, features toolbar, you know, every other toolbar. So whenever, if you are in part design workbench of Katia and you lost some of the toolbars or you are not able to find them on your screen. So what you have to do is come here in the customize and toolbars option and here is the option to restore all content and restore position. So when you click on them, all the toolbars will be in their standard position and all the standard toolbars will be available on your window in that particular workspace. Okay, so this was about toolbars. Now we will come to commands. 
Now commands gives us control over the various shortcuts we can use for various commands. Like for view, um, in view I'm going for hide and show command. Okay, so this is hide and show command. So when you go for hide and show command, we use this command oftenly in Katia. I would say it will it is the most used command in Katia while uh, doing the surfacing. So when you click on show properties for that particular command, it will show something like this. Command properties window is over here. So it will show the title of that command. Here is the icon of that command. And here are the accelerators. But right now, as you can see, the accelerator <coughs> is grayed out, right? So we cannot change that accelerator right now. I will tell you how to change that accelerator also. So for now, we will just close it. So this was the customization option of Katia. So now, if I fire up part design workbench, you can get a new part window like this. I will explain this hybrid design and create geometric set options later on. I will just click OK for now. So now this is the standard Katia's part design workbench. So we will try to get shortcut keys for the commands which were grayed out in the previous option. Okay. So we will just go to customize, go to commands. We were looking for the hide show command, right? So we will go to view. And then we will look at hide and show. So if I click show properties right now. So look here, the accelerator window which was grayed out when the part design workbench was not open is active right now. So there is no accelerator or shortcut is assigned to it right now. So I want to assign space key for hide and show as an accelerator. So I will just click on other and just go there. I will select KP space. You just you can type K and you can search for KP space. It will be over here only. So see KP space is there. Okay. I'll just add it. Okay. Close this window and close this one. So right now I have just assigned a shortcut key for hide and show option. So like that various options you can use like for view fit in all option fit in all centers your product in the screen so now if you click on fit in all you can just click on show properties and whatever accelerator you want to assign you can assign it I will give a list of standard shortcut keys which we use uh, in the industry so that you can also get a habit of using them so I will just close this for now so that was the customization option in the Katia. So there are plenty of other settings. I will call it general settings in Katia. So select those. You just have to go to tools, click on options, and a window will appear like this one. So this is the general setting window of Katia. Now in this, you can see that there is a tree over here which embodies various options of Katia settings so these are the general settings of Katia we will look into the each option of the general setting in the next video so for now I will just close it so in today's video we have gone through the customization option of Katia we learned how to assign shortcut keys and accelerators to various commands and workbenches of Katia so that will be all for today thank you thank you for watching the video do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload a new video in this series. Thank you.